Hey y'all, what's good beautiful people? It's your girl Tay and I am here yet again with another update video. So definitely make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, plus push the post notification bell button so that when anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. So first thing you guys, I definitely wanted to apologize. I know I usually um, upload my videos. I try to do it between Monday and Friday. Just in case you guys didn't know, I'm gonna let you know my schedule as of right now. So I do try to upload my videos Monday through Friday and then I give myself Saturday and Sunday off to take care of business because um, it does take time to edit these videos and all of that and research the information. I'm usually researching all throughout the day. Whenever I find a moment, I'm on my phone or I'm on my devices and I'm looking up stuff and I'm I'm saving it and notating it for later on but I didn't get a chance to record yesterday um, because yesterday was my hair day you guys know um probably don't didn't realize that a lot of you but I have locks dreadlocks whatever you want to call them um, and maintenance is fairly low thank God so I only have to get my hair done once every two months um, and yesterday was that day um, and I could have did a video when I came back but I decided to just take the day I had to do my daughter's hair you know mommy stuff school is coming up next week so um, not that I felt like you guys wanted to know but I just really wanted to share that with you okay so I don't want you guys to be upset with me because I didn't do a video yesterday but anyways moving on so I did manage to check the names of the states that have currently been approved for emergency snap maximum benefits for the month of August now I couldn't really tell if there were more states that have been added onto that list but as usual you guys were going to go through that information so it doesn't really matter what whatever states that are available I'm going to give you guys that as well as the payout information however I did see a lot of um, very interesting information regarding uh, back to school giveaways and things of that nature there's also some information regarding the hold on my phone is moving slower than me right now um, there's also some information regarding um, vaccines um, book vouchers and all kinds of stuff so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to give you all this information today or if I'm gonna have to spread it out and give you guys some of this information tomorrow however um, there is a backpack distribution for kids August the 12th and this is actually out here in California for those of you guys who live anywhere near Westminster okay I think it says uh, from 9 a.m. to noon on Thursday August the 12th which is next week Westminster Presbyterian Church and it gives the address which is 230 Clary Street um, K4 students must be present to receive their backpacks in addition to the school supplies early risers Kiwanis will give out children's books the program is made available for do from donations made by people, churches, service organizations, and uh, businesses of Nobles County. Now, I'm not exactly sure. At first, I thought this was out here. Hold on. Let me look this up because there is a Presbyterian church out here with the very same exact um, address. But I'm going to look it up, you guys. This is the power of a cell phone because I want to make sure I'm giving you guys accurate information. I may need to go over this again. Um, I looked up 230 Westminster, but it's 230 Clary Street, but it actually said Worthington. I think that's Minnesota. Okay, so I actually think this is in Minnesota, you guys. Okay, I'm glad that I looked it up because originally I thought it was Westminster. That's the name of the church because we have uh, Westminster, which is a, a city out here in California. So I thought this was information for California, but this is actually for Minnesota. So glad to know. Um, let me go back to that. Okay, so like I said, there is a backpack distribution going on in Minnesota. Um, Thursday, next Thursday, August the 12th at Westminster Presbyterian Church. The address is 230 Clary Street, Worthington, okay? Um, like I said, it's from kindergarten to the fourth grade. The program is made available from donations. It says monetary donations are still being accepted. If you guys want to donate, if you're not in need of anything, checks should be mailed to um, MANA, M-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, Backpacks, 230 Clary Street, Worthington, okay? And there's no additional information outside of that. But if you guys know where this church is um, out there, don't forget to mark your calendar for next week on Thursday for a backpack drive, okay? Kids must be present, um, but it's between 9 a.m. and noon on Thursday, okay? Again, Westminster Presbyterian Church, okay? I'm glad that I was able to get that. Now, for PEBT, 
Um, I found this article regarding Tennessee. Okay, so this is for Tennessee. It says fourth round of PEBT benefits announced to help eligible families. I'm assuming that they're talking about the uh, summer program. So far, we've gotten two distributions. Most states have gotten two distributions. Most kids have gotten two distributions. Okay, we got the, the very first distribution that they did when the pandemic first happened. And then they did a second um, distribution, which was called the PEBT extension. So they did the PEBT 1.0 or PEBT regular program. And then they did the PEBT extension, which was for the months of August and September, which should have been mailed out. I know for us, it was in October of last year. And then the PBT 2.0 program is the benefits for the school year that actually just ended um, in June of this year. And then the fourth disbursement that they're talking about is PBT summertime benefits, okay? Um, it says the Tennessee Department of Human Services announced the fourth round of state's summer pandemic uh, electronic benefit transfer, also known as PBT program for qualifying families to help purchasing foods according to the tdhs news release the program will see eligible school age children who will who were receiving i'm sorry benefits from the national school lunch program as of the last day of july will receive a single deposit of 375 dollars in food benefits on their existing pebt card starting on friday august the 6th that's today so if you're in tennessee and if you have not thrown away your pebt card you might want to check it because they're saying that they're going to start those deposits of the um this is a base amount that most all of the states are getting except for uh, states where the cost of living is extremely high like i think it was like alaska hawaii there's a couple other states where they're getting 438 dollars but for out here um, in california and most other states the basic amount is 375 dollars for the summertime period okay so today it says on their existing card starting today friday um, August the 6th. So definitely check your cards. So children who qualify for summer PEBT in June or July will receive their deposit by the end of September. Children under the age of six whose family received benefits through the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, um, also known as SNAP benefits in June and July, will receive a $375 uh, benefit on their regular SNAP EBT card later in August. Okay, so pay attention to that. Again, for children under the age of six, if they were in, uh, if they are a part of a family that that has received SNAP benefits anytime in June or July, they're going to receive the 375 benefits on their regular EBT card. So they shouldn't have a PEBT card later in August, okay? And that's pretty much it. The article goes on to say how they feel that having healthy meals, um, not having to worry about food and cutting down on child uh, food insecurity will definitely help children in school, help them be able to focus, um, that's basically it. So parents can check to see if they're eligible for summer PBT and verify their mailing address on the parent portal. Um, parents with incorrect address on the portal and those who need additional assistance should call the PBT hotline, which is 833-496-0661. Again, that is 833-496-0661. One, okay, those PBT cards can be used at a variety of major uh, grocery retailers and according to the state benefits were provided to more than 765,000 children during the spring semester of 2020. Okay, I don't think the rest of the stuff you guys need to know about. It's just basically stati statistics. Um, wait, I'm actually seeing some more benefits. I want to see what this is. That's supposed to be. Oh, no, this is this is I already talked about this. All right. Um, what is this? So you guys, when I start getting on here, some students to receive Minneapolis, the payments, when was this put out? I don't wanna give you guys information that's old and doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna read this later on in my spare time, okay? But that information was for Tennessee, okay? So I'm gonna also put that information down in the description box below so that you guys can get to it. Now, if you guys didn't know in Maryland and Virginia, they are actually going to require vaccines for state employees. I think they're going to go around to try to make this uh, a thing across the United States because I believe that some information just was released as it pertains to California. Also stating that they were going to make it um, or is, you're mandated if you are a health employee. I'm not so sure if it uh, tr canceled over to state employees or if it was just healthcare professionals, nurses, doctors, physicians, clinicians, whatever. Um, I'm not sure, but I do know that they have implemented something similar to that in California. It says Maryland and Virginia will be mandating that the state employees get vaccinated against the illness. Virginia Governor Ralph Northam's uh, office said in a statement this past Thursday that all 122,000 state workers will have to show 
prove that they are fully vaccinated, okay, by September 1st or be tested for it every week, okay? In a news conference, Northam said it was important to keep state employees safe and keep the people that we serve safe. Now, I also saw another article today suggesting that they're saying that half of the U.S. now is actually vaccinated. I don't know if they see that as a good thing or a bad thing. I would think that they see it as a good thing, but the reality still for me is that this doesn't keep people from getting the um, disease. And I know that in some cases, cases it does help them fight off the disease but then there are other cases where it's like as if they didn't get the vaccination at all so i don't know um it says those, there's no reason why we need to see more suffering and sickness he said northam didn't elaborate on what would happen if an employee refuses to follow the mandate but said he expects them to do so okay officials said that the vaccination rate for state employees matches that of all the state overall i think i should be some type of newscaster not the one that's out there out in the public talking and catching stuff live as it happens i'm not that type of person i feel like those people kind of you know lose their soul on the way in the pursuit of happiness because you know I'm, I'm not about to be invading people's privacy like that just just to get a story but i feel like i will be a good either a, a radio host or something talking to you guys talk radio or um i don't know i just think i will be really really good in one of those type of positions what y'all think let me know down below so separately the maryland governor uh larry hogan said in a press conference that he will require state employees who work in congregate settings to receive their first vaccine dose by September the 1st. Employees who are not vaccinated will have to adhere to the strict face covering requirements and repeat the testing, okay? They will get testing repeatedly. Doesn't say how often, but just repeatedly. So he said, please just get the damn vaccine. This is word for word what he said, <laughs> Hogan said. The vaccines are free, safe, they work, and they are widely available everywhere across the states. Um, at thousands of distribution points, including hundreds of pharmacies and pharmacy care providers. The mandate applies to workers in 48 different state facilities, including health care facilities and ones within the state's Department of Juvenile Services, Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services and Department of Veterans Affairs. Hogan encouraged operators of private nursing homes to institute similar vaccination mandates. Okay, that is all. Um, like I said, you guys know you need to be safe. The Delta variant is running free um, and rampant out there. Okay, it has already claimed people's lives. So just, you know, be safe. I'm not telling you guys to get the vaccine. I'm not telling you guys not to get the vaccine, but I am telling you guys to be safe and be mindful of your surroundings at all times. Do what you can to protect you and your family. All right. Um, now, do I want to talk about this in this video or do I want to talk about this in the next video? I think I'm going to wait. Ooh. I think my boo was making breakfast because I just got away for some sausage and it smells delicious. Um, did I talk about this one already? Hold on, you guys. I'm not sure if I talked about this, but it says if your school age children need this is some more school supplies, okay? If your school age children need supplies for the coming school year, Northern Kentucky Harvest can help you out. The nonprofit has 1,008 backpacks containing paper, pens, pencils, and other supplies to give out to K-12 students. It just needs to know who to give them to. The organization is asking parents to register by the end of the month via email, text, or phone call for a distribution event that'll be held around August the 14th and the 15th, okay? Um, in the past years, Northern Kentucky Harvest distributed the supplies during a backpacks and breakfast event in Covington's Global Park. But with the pandemic, it's adopting the same drive through format as last year. We know there are still a lot of people out there hurting financially, so we're hoping we can connect with some of them and help them a little bit, said Paul um, Gottbreath. He's a board president of Northern Kentucky Harvest. The distribution is now in its 21st year. It starts out, it started out with about 150 backpacks and has grown to an average of 100 to 900 to 1,000 with more than half of these families from Covington, okay? So, the important information, actually, um, it says the deadline has already passed. I am so sorry, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the deadline has actually already passed. I think I gave you guys this information, though. I'm pretty sure I spoke about some stuff regarding um, Kentucky. I, I think I did. I'm not exactly sure when, but I believe I did. Um, however, if you guys still want to call, see if there's a chance that you can go and get you some supplies, call this number. It is 859-750-2813. Again, that is 859-750-2813. It also says that you can send an email to backpacks backpacks at be concerned 
dot org okay backpacks at beconcern.org now again unfortunately it says here the deadline to register was july 31st by 5 p.m i'm not sure if i gave you guys this information the week of august 9th parents and guardians will receive a text or email with a pickup time on august 14th or 15th parents need to come to the parking lot outside of be concerned um, and pick them up i think i went over this though but it, if you guys need the, this assistance definitely give them a call it doesn't hurt to try the worst that they can tell you is no okay um let me see here i think i'm gonna do this in a different video i feel so bad i'm sorry you guys i was supposed to read that yesterday but at any rate let's get on to the stuff that i know y'all want to hear about let's talk about uh august emergency snap benefits now i am going to pull it up on my phone i'm actually not going to turn the camera around today i'm going to pull it up on my phone and just kind of go through here let me refresh because again i can't tell if there's anything else that has been added okay so if you see me looking at two different places i'm looking at my phone just to uh, make sure that the information I have here on my um, document is the same, okay? So I have Alabama, August 31st, available September 1st, okay? So it won't be available until September 1st. Uh, Arizona, I have August 1st through the 3rd. Colorado, I have August 2nd through the 6th. Delaware, I have August the 25th. D.C., I have approved, but I don't see a date as of yet. Georgia, you guys made the cut, August 25th, 27th, 29th and um 31st guam i have august the 20th hawaii i have september the 31st no sorry september the 13th illinois i have august the 20th through the 28th and then september 1st for a catch-up indiana i have august 5th through the 23rd odd days staggered iowa i have august the 1st through the 10th with regular issuance um, Kentucky, I have August 2nd through the 19th. Louisiana, I have August 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th. Maine, I have August the 10th. Maryland, I have all month long. Michigan, I have August the 17th and the 26th. Uh, Mississippi, I have August the 3rd. Missouri, I have all month long. New apps will be provided benefits within three days of approval. Um, New Hampshire, I have August 5th, 24th. September 5th, 20th, and then October 5th. New Jersey, I have August the 1st through the 5th. New Mexico, I have uh, all month long. I don't see anything as of yet for New York. Don't forget to check your state's social media pages, Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, because sometimes the information is posted there before it lands on the USDA website. Just for any of you guys who are here for the first time, if it's not on the USDA, sometimes it will be on your state's uh, social media pages, okay? Uh, I did New Mexico north carolina august 22nd through the 31st ohio august 26th new apps will be provided benefits day after approval oklahoma august 10th through the 15th oregon we have august 10th or the 11th 30th or the 31st and then september 1st or the 2nd okay pennsylvania we have august 17th through the 21st and then the 24th through the 28th and then a final run october the 8th rhode island we have august the 3rd South Carolina, we have August the 2nd. Tennessee, we have August the 1st through the 20th, and then June 1st. Some I don't know what this, what it's, June 1st is actually already passed. For Tennessee, I believe that they were trying to say um, that this is a transition month for them, so most likely for next month, if there are emergency snap allotments for the month of September, Tennessee most likely won't get them because they're claiming that as of June 1st, they're in transition. So this is gonna be the last month that they give out benefits, okay? Texas, I have August 9th through the 13th. Utah, I have August the 29th, Vermont, September 15th, Virginia, August the 16th, Washington, regular issuance, West Virginia, August the 4th, final September uh, 8th, final distribution will be September 8th, Wisconsin, August the 28th, and then a final run October the 16th, and then Wyoming, you guys should have all gotten your benefits because they were given out between August the 2nd and the 5th based off of the first initial of your last name. Okay, so I don't see any additional states that have been approved as of right now for emergency SNAP benefits for the month of August. I gave you guys everything that is on here um, as of right now and my video is already pretty long so on that note you guys I'm going to say as always I hope this information was in some way helpful 
or useful to you guys tell me what you guys are doing to get ready get your babies ready for school i want to know i'm talking to your parents out there whether you're married or you're single i want to know what you guys are doing to get your kids comfortable are you sending your babies back to school right now are you keeping them home if you guys didn't know i'm not sure if this program is available everywhere i believe it is but if your school does not currently offer any type of hybrid or virtual model and that is something that you want i do know that there's a school called k-12 now again this platform was actually available before the pandemic. I used it for one of my children when they were in a spiritual transition and had to be um, somewhat isolated for a year. Um, I use this program, but basically what it's an online school, you don't have to purchase anything. It's completely free. It's basically a public school that's online. You go online, you sign up. Um, and I, from what I remember, I had to meet with the um, teacher like maybe once or twice a month. We will meet up at like the Starbucks or Target, you know, just a, a public area where we can sit down and talk face to face. She can go over some of the information she could also interact with my child let her know the areas that she needs to improve on and, and, and you know and everything and whatnot so I think that that's an option look it up I'm going to try to see if there's any more programs for those of you guys who are interested in having your child continue in this next school year um, via online okay now as far as I know they don't participate in programs like national free lunch school programs or anything like that so that may um, affect you it won't affect you for the year that has already you know passed obviously but moving forward if they do decide to extend on pandemic EBT for whatever reason that may actually affect your ability to get those benefits if your child is not participating in that program so something for you to think about but anyways as always you guys I'm going to tell you remember to live love and definitely elevate okay stay cool stay hydrated be safe remember to social distance and I will definitely see you guys in the next video peace people